In this week's video, I'm going to be talking about my broken neck and telling you how I broke it and what it's like now, nine years later. For those of you who don't know, I am a C4 to 5 incomplete quadriplegic due to a spinal cord injury in 2007. To cut the long story short, I got drunk, fell off a roof and damaged my spinal cord as well as breaking multiple bones, including my neck. I spent three weeks in an induced coma and a total of five weeks in intensive care. And after the five weeks, I was taken to surgery where I was operated on for like 12 hours or something. There were six titanium plates that were put into the back of my neck as well as titanium rods in my legs. My neck was in a brace for the five weeks and I ended up with a scar just underneath my chin. And it's got sort of like an indent underneath. And I also have a scar down the back of my neck where they operated on it and put the plates down my neck. And now, nine years later, there's a few things that I am limited with now because of the plates in my neck. I have a natural slouch, which I can't help because my neck and my back sort of has a little bit of a curve and that's where the plates are in the back of my neck. And I'm also limited to how far I can put my head back and how far it can go down and side to side. When I went tandem skydiving, the instructor kept trying to get me to put my head back when I was in free fall, but I physically can't because of the plates in my neck. So the whole time I was sort of looking down at everything that I was sort of flying towards and I was like, Holy crap, that was scary. And another thing that I've noticed with having the broken neck is I can hear the bits of bone fragment in the back of my neck when I'm doing certain exercises at the gym and just when I'm doing anything physically that involves me moving my back and my neck and my shoulders. And it sort of sounds like little pieces of rocks just rubbing together and nobody else can hear this sound, only me, because it's so close to my eardrums, but sometimes it's sort of like a feeling rather than a sound. So I can hear the pieces of bone moving in the back of my neck, but I can also feel it as well. I do get pain in my neck every now and then, but that pain is manageable. And because I've had a brain injury, sometimes it means that the pain isn't real because it's sort of like my brain playing tricks on me. And when I get a headache in a certain area on my head, it usually means that I have a sore neck. Even if I'm not feeling the sore neck, my head is sort of telling me that I have pain. And would I get the plates out from the back of my neck? Absolutely not. They're the only thing keeping my head up. And just like the titanium rods in my legs, I would never get those out because they're the only thing keeping my legs straight. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments and please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next week. Bye.